Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very special and very amazing problem. I'm sure none of you would have seen this problem or similar type of problem earlier. So here is the statement of uh, this problem and by the way this is original problem. So there are two masses A and B having masses M0 and 2M0 are moving with velocity 3V0 and 2V0 respectively on a smooth horizontal surface. These masses are connected with a spring having mass of MS as shown in the diagram. Initially spring is in its natural length. After some time uh, it has been observed that the masses are having velocity of V0 each with the direction shown below. What is the change in the length of the spring at this instant? assume that the velocity profile is linear in the spring so here is the diagram of uh, this problem and you can see here the 2m mass is moving with 2v0 and m0 mass is moving with 3v0 in the same direction earlier and at some instant we are uh, finding that this uh, m0 block a is moving towards left and this mass b which is moving towards right with the same speed so we have to find out uh, at this moment what is going to be the change in length of the spring whether it is compression or it is uh, extension in the spring that we have to calculate so let's discuss the concept part of uh, this problem so i'll be discussing about the linear velocity profile in the spring suppose the two ends of the springs are moving with the velocity v1 and v2 in opposite direction and if velocity is linearly changing uh, which is given in the problem so if nothing is mentioned in the question then we will be assuming already that uh, velocity profile is linear otherwise they might give you a parabolic function or something else so we'll follow that uh, instruction so here you can see that at a distance of x this end of the spring is going to have velocity minus v1 plus uh, v1 plus v2 divided by l times x see uh, since it is linear graph so here value at x equal to 0 is minus v1 and at uh, x equal to z which is the length instantaneous length of the spring this value is v2 so i can write the slope of uh, this line that is going to be uh, v1 plus v2 by l and this equation is uh, y equal to mx plus c so c value is minus v1 here so minus v1 plus mx that's how i am writing this velocity profile directly you should be habitual for writing linear velocity profiles directly instead of using straight line equation similarly here uh, when both the velocities are uh, in same direction in that case i can write this uh, velocity at any point uh, x of the spring is going to be uh, v1 plus v2 minus v1 by l times x again you can see here at x equal to 0 velocity is v1 at x equal to l velocity is v2 both are in same direction this is the slope v2 minus v1 by l and y equal to mx plus c line i'm writing so that's how we calculate uh, velocity at any x in case of uh, spring i hope this part is uh, clear to everyone so if this is clear then i can write kinetic energy of uh, this and that kinetic energy is going to be that kinetic energy is going to be half m half dm v particle square that is going to be half dm into v particle square so i can write this dm as i can write this dm as m spring by z because i'm assuming it's a uniform spring here uh, ms by z into dx that is the mass of this uh, small element which is going to be present here and times vx square if we integrate it over the length of the spring we are going to get total kinetic energy in the spring as the spring is having mass so next calculation of initial energy so this is the initial uh, state given to us so i can write initial energy will be kinetic energy of a plus kinetic energy of b plus kinetic energy of spring and there is no potential energy at this instant stored in the spring because its natural length is taken uh, it is given that spring is in its natural length so k is very simple half m naught into 3v naught whole square similarly for 2m mass i can write half 2m into 2v naught whole square and k spring initially i have to calculate potential energy is zero so i can write this e initial as uh, which will if you simplify it is going to come as 17 by 2 mv naught square plus k spring 
initially this is initially so calculation of initial energy stored in the spring you can see here so this end is moving uh, this side with 3v0 and this is moving with the 2v0 so actually at this instant the very next instant a spring will get compressed however that information is not required for us so you can see uh, velocity is decreasing 3v0 to 2v0 over the length so i can write this vx as 3v0 minus v0 by l into x this is going to be the slope of this and it is decreasing so this is going to be the velocity at general x now i can write it as uh, half dm into v particle square so when i substitute value half and let's say at this instant it is l instantaneous length is l so that l i'm assuming from my side it should get cancelled so ms by l into dx and square of this so 9 v naught square plus v naught square by l square x square minus 2 ab so minus 6 v naught square x by l and times uh, dx will come uh, okay dx is here so when i integrate 0 to l over the length of this i am going to get kinetic energy of the spring so i'm not explaining this calculation part to you so when you simplify this you are going to get kinetic energy of a spring initially comes as 19 by 6 ms v naught square so that's how this total initial mechanical energy of this system is going to be 17 by 2 m naught v naught square plus 19 by 6 ms v naught square now similarly i'm going to calculate this uh, final potential energy of this system so half m v naught square plus half into 2 m into v naught square plus kinetic energy of spring finally plus spring potential energy finally so if i simplify this term becomes 3 by 2 m v naught square let's calculate this spring kinetic energy finally so this time both the ends are moving in opposite direction with v0 speed so i can write velocity at any general x as minus v0 plus 2 v0 by l1 now i'm assuming this length l1 so l1 is actually l plus x where x is the uh, compression or uh, elongation in in this case so this is my velocity function now minus v0 plus 2 v0 by l1 times x and one more time we are going to follow the same method half dm dm will become ms by l1 times dx velocity square vx square when i simplify that and integrate over the length of 0 to l1 i am going to get this energy as 1 by 6 ms v naught square once i get this energy i know final kinetic energy of uh, spring so my total final energy is going to be 3 by 2 m v naught square plus 1 by 6 m s v naught square plus spring potential energy finally and initially i know the energy i have calculated it and these two energies must be equal and if i equate it i am going to get this uh, spring potential energy finally as 7 m v naught square plus 3 ms v naught square you can see such a clean answer in this case and that should be equal to half k x square where x is the change in length it can be elongation as well as compression so on solving i am going to get this value this is my final answer which is v naught under root of 2 times 7 m naught plus 3 ms divided by k they could give ms in terms of m naught but i wanted to keep it separate so that while writing equations your understanding will be better so this is the final answer for this problem i hope you have enjoyed this and if you have enjoyed this please uh, give a like share it with others leave your comments and suggestions and uh, share as, mu as much as uh, you can it will be very helpful for the channel and i'm sure you are enjoying all these uh, advanced level problems these are very important and uh, basically these problems are going to give you a new insight of how to approach advanced level problems so this is it i'll come very soon again with another amazing video thank you thank you very much